Hey people, Zarth Thwomp here, and welcome to episode 13 of Danganronpa V3. Alt, uh, uh, sorry, just Danganronpa V3. I'm still getting used to Alter Despair. I'm still used to Alter Despair Girls. Anyways, last time we found out that... Oh, this is actually very embarrassing. I forgot his name. Okay, let's pretend I didn't forget his name. Ah. Okay, ah. Rontaro, yeah, Rontaro, he's now dead. So, anyways, we had to fix Gay's murder. If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I, I don't want to be annihilated. The girl should be allowed to live at least. Uh. I hope you did it. I hope that you did it, Tenko, because I want to see you die. Eh, I'm just a cute normal girl who can use magic, you know. I'm not doubting you at all, Himiko. I know you couldn't do it. Knowing you, you're too lazy to do to kill. Why you? You're the last person who should be calling herself cute. Then. Do not fret. Just imagine this as something out of a police drama or a detective magna. Do you agree? Right, Suichi. Uh, okay. R right. Impossible. I'm in trouble. I've never watched police dramas or read detective magnas. I've been too busy reading my robot parts magazine. I cannot help it if I get urges. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We only need to converse with the corpse. A corpse is not simply a dead person. That is just an assumption made by the living. Okay, okay. Koryukiyo, are you sure you're not just into philosophy, really? Because this is already getting some real du some real dualism. Wonderful. Yes, by coming face to face with the corpse, you will learn many a great thing. <laughs> Why are you getting so excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually, there always has to be one. But it is true. But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are one to fifteen. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around. That's the pro. That's not the problem here. What? Who the? Who the? Who's the other culprit then? Is it you, or maybe it's you? Uh. Any minute, my Nemo. Who's the killer? Only a two of us. I, I'm seriously starting to think you did it, Angie. I'm seriously starting to contemplate you doing it. Just to use him as some blood sacrifice for a Tua. Weird. You cannot choose that way. How exciting. Aha! Uh -huh. Everyone's coming to see who is the most paranoid. Yes, that's all boring. Okay, now let's play some Bogle. Like, oh, Yahtzee. Oh, Yahtzee's better. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um... That sounds like something the killer would say! Quickly tie him down! Kodakiyo, get your get your star ropes out! For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Huh? Hey! If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same as not trusting each other! No. I'm sorry if my Mew voice is so similar to Fuyuhiko's. I'm trying to give like some bo some Brooklyn girl voice. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we... We can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder. Not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Hmm. Ah, did I say something wrong? <laughs> you were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... Uh, no, I just... Did what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. Right. I agree with Suichi. Actually, he just said exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Males are to creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. Please, please, in the name of all that is good and holy, let Tenko be the killer, so that way we can just get rid of her immediately. But then again, it's always much more fulfilling when there, there are corpses on the ground. So... I, I'm actually gonna hope. So you know, I'm just gonna hold back and hope that she gets someone decides to kill her. Come on, Himiko. Gonta not smart, not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone. Gonta, this for my Gonta a puzzle. I, I will recall with Atua's guidance. I am much happier alive than dead, anyways. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. If this is where everyone desires, then I shall give this task my all. Okay. You can leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. I am a I am a PI on the weekends. I'm Saturday night PI. I'm chocolate banana thunder squishy pants the third. 
I go around in a, in a loud car, there's a siren, it goes, Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, and I go out and I say, Where's my wife? And they say, what, what are you talking about? And I say, Where is my wife? And then I throw something at them. I throw a rotten banana that I dipped in chocolate sauce. And the name banana squishy pants. And then I say the squishy part. I, I shove another one in their pocket and then slam my hand on it when they don't cooperate. I am so sorry. You, I'm glad no one's given up yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what's already happened. All I can do is what it must be done. Otherwise, Roger will die for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll all escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well done. So, let's get started. Yes. We need to do this so poor Roger won't have any regrets. And so we can survive. Okay. Yes, let's find the culprit who could Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. Thank you, Suichi. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Hmm. This isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but where's my Monokuma file? Where is my Monokuma file, Monokuma? The murders happened for a good... Good six minutes or so, but yet there's no Monokuma file. No Monokuma file. Oh, it's okay. At least now you guys seem like you're getting into it. Ah! You again? What the F are you doing here? <laughs> Don't be so crude. I've come to bring you all a wonderful present. No man, here it comes. <laughs> this is giving me the heebie jeebies. A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it! Death Note reference! Could it be the... Could it be the Death Note? Yeah. Whoops, my bad, it's a Monokuma file! Which is a thousand dollars better than that piece of crap anime! Yeah. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Let me explain. The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body! But there's no info that would point to the blagon, because that would ruin the trial! I'm glad Monokuma is pointing out right at the get-go that the, the, he's going to troll us with the file. Again. I don't know, maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced in this case, you know? Monokuma file, like, how am I going to believe something he made? No. Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents. No. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He said that we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. Yeah, I think we should read it. As far as all the info in the victim, I wonder what it says. Okay. The victim is Rantaro... Is Rantaro Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9-10. Okay. The victim was subjected to the blunt force trauma to the back of the skull. Ma okay, Monokuma's giving us th that much info at the very least. Resulting cranial fractures and me and death. No injuries were detected. Monokuma file 1 has been added. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on. So we gotta assume he wasn't, right? But if Rantaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually... I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rantaro is really dead! That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No, the mastermind killed Rantaro. That's Mastermind, I'm sorry. What are we talking about? Mm. Kayate, please explain what's going on. And spare us no detail. Yeah. Yeah, I will. So each and I explained to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the master hanging among us. And about the trap we had sent in the library to lure them out. And that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check. And discovered Rantaro's body. Understood. I see. So that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. Yeah. Yeah. To so use those cameras I modified for this bull crap? But you know. But why would you keep something so important a secret from us? <laughs> Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. But... But if these are cameras, won't this be easy to so But won't this case be solved really easily? Come on, Zothwam! What the hell? You are mattering my beautiful lines! I have fans, you know. I have wonderful fans. 
and make me cookies, and all of them are girls because they're like, "Ooh, Kokichi, I want to have your babies. I want to have your beautiful babies on the weekend." And I say to them, "Sorry, ladies, my one true love is Saturday night, because that is when I want Saturday Night Live and beat it to a cat." To an article of Rita's Digest. Oh man, that's so boring. Wait. Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. <laughs> the culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then, all right, let me go get the camera. So would you quick? So would you quickly retrieve all three cameras and rush back to everyone? Is that all right? Okay, I've got him. Well. It was hard moving the cameras that Kai eyes up. She really typed it down well. Because well, I didn't want the camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Here it is, all three cameras. Uh, um, now we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow me to perform that test. That's amazing. Why are you so will why are you so quick to develop the film? Karumi, are you is there something you're not telling us? Well, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? You said, if that's what you need, just leave it to me. Huh? Okay. I'll do it. I'll develop the voice so you bosses can focus on the investigation. Oh my gosh, just hearing Monophony just saying saying bastard. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. What the Rosa's Iron's I just had so many weird lyrics. Because if you guys get punished, it wouldn't be- it would be too way too corny! Hey, hey, don't you bite into her! But she ignored my jokes and walked into Suichi and took the cameras from him. Uh. I am a strong, sensual woman! Do not underestimate me! Uh. Hey, get those back! Leave it to me. Don't need to worry! We all have to follow the rules! We don't do anything underhanded or devious! So I'll, 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 I'll let you know when I finish along the photos! Wait, get the cameras back! It was pointless to yell at her. Mind if any left as swift as the wind. Oh my! Oh, uh, there she goes! Uh, no, no, that was important evidence! Sorry. I'm sorry, I was being careless. Um... It's probably okay. She said she developed photos, then give photos back! That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence! Sheesh. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. Because Atua is watching It over. is important to believe. Only Atua shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... Kayade, I know you're worried, but you have to trust me. We just have to be patient. No, that's not what I'm worried about at all. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now, we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey! Hey, Kayade, I have a proposal for you. All right? It's alright with you. Could we keep working together on the trial, just like we're doing now? The love, the ship is real. The Suade ship, it's real, alright. Because, really, just look at that blush. Huh? It's a witchy. I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I, I want to help you. Shuichi. Of course, with my with you at my side, it'll be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kayate. Um... Hey, so, I don't care about this mushy stuff, so can we get started already? And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Especially my life, which is far more important than all of your lives combined. I am the essence of the weekend. I am the sun, I am the moon, I am the stars at night. I'm like everything from good night moon. You say good night, you're saying good night to me. When you kiss something, you're kissing me. You you what you bring in there, you're kissing me. You will love me because I am beautiful. Actually. It takes all mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Why? Because someone could dispose of evidence. No, no. If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try to destroy evidence, right? Huh? Oh, you're right, since the culprit is one of us! If we, if we just watch the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arrest suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Karumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, uh, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once you close the master, right, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. Investigation. Okay, can we find the body? 
Near the body. Let's go. Mm. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but should we investigate Rancho's body? Uh, yes. Um, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if that's too much for you, Kayade, you don't have to. Okay? No, it's fine. I can do it. My mind was that I started to walk towards Rancho's body. Last time I saw Rancho, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rancho die here? Huh? Why do you mean die here? Remember? I mean, if Rancho was the one who moved the bookcase, how do you know that Rancho didn't know about the mastermind already? He didn't base. He didn't know. He could have very well knew about the bookcase just as like you guys did, and he didn't want to tell anyone. He probably camped out in the library, and he probably fought was hanging out outside the library, followed the first person who came in, and then one thing led to another. I mean, if Rontaro was the one who moved the bucket, I mean, he came all the way over here after the bucket opened. He moved away from the hidden door to his this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Are you okay? You've gone pale. I thought that's normal. We have to guess it by and guess it. Eh, we have to investigate a body after all. The body is someone who was alive and talked to us just a few a little while ago. No, it's okay. Really, we just have to do our best. Not just for Rontaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey, um, Gayade, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you from this investigation. I am sort of a detective after all. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Right. Okay. I don't think it's any doubt of the matter that the ball, that the bloody shot put ball is the we murder weapon. It was throw. It was moving at a fast pace and basically. And hit them in the and hit Rantaro in the skull. Judging by the blood splatter, it was basically like a shotgun effect. It hit him in the back of the head. He slumped over and then basically fell straight to the ground. The ball then landed and rolled a little. I don't think that this is forged evidence. But wait, I need to check something out first. I need to check something out. Okay, where's the Monokuma file? Okay, the victim was subjected to, to the back of the skull. Skull was cracked. Is Ganta the murderer? Because really, I don't think that's Ryoma. Because that would be just too uh, way too obvious that basically he would repeat his crime of hitting the ball. And plus, Ryoma wanted to die. Wouldn't he, it be easier to kill himself? For, and also, for that matter, we also called Cory Keo. He was basically talking about how Ganta, with his strength, he could crunk. He could crack a small child's skull open. So really, that could just be foreshadowing. And with Gonta's strength, I think that it would be easy for him to throw a shot put ball very easily. So, at the moment, as much as I don't want to believe it, Gonta is my number one suspect. Because you have to consider just, this is a shot put ball. This thing is not light. I play shot put balls on the ground. Could it be? The shot put ball, could it be? Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. Hmm. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could be used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Watch Rose's body. Hmm. Um, I know he needs to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. So we should show no hesitation as we end the exam and run through his body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blood force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um, so can we trust the Monokuma file? Uh, yes, okay. for now. Suiji so then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. Huh? What, what are you doing? Uh, I'm checking um, his, I'm checking what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kayahe, pull yourself together! Hmm. Ronto had this in his possession. The key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's the exact, the exact same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a card key on him? Could it be? That's what I'm thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh, then Ronto really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come to here without a car key. Though why do I have a feeling those pictures are going to be developed after the trial? I'm sorry that's so abrupt, but they're not going to get, make it that easy for us. So, 
what we know now, that is the most likely possibility. Why was Wancho here if he wasn't the mastermind? He wanted to take down the mastermind. He probably knew about the bookcase. He was waiting outside the library. He followed the mastermind into the library. And then one thing led to another. Wancho's belongings have been added. Level 15. Are you okay? Howdy, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's go get out here for now. Sorry. Okay? Yeah, sorry. Isn't the blood spot on the wall a little interesting? Hmm. Something's bothering me. Why did Ronsaro come to the library? It seems likely that he is not the mastermind. What reason did he have to come here? Uh, I guess he has something to do with what Ronsaro mentioned earlier. <laughs> it's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? <laughs> it's possible. He knows the hidden door in the library, just like we did. Just what I said! Huh? What? Uh, um... He might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um, you mean, he had the same idea as us? N no way. N no way, he should have told us. Um, we could have worked together. I collapsed on the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. no, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kayati, but Rontaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. It might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me his ha a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me up to my feet. Remember. Heidi, let's go. We can't waste any time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Suichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Suichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Huh? Suichi would. Suichi's right. You can't give up until it's over. I can't see the first forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Okay. Okay. Ah, wrong thing. Let's investigate the hidden bookcase. The hidden bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. You guys set up a security sensor on the top of the bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah, it should still be here. Let me check. So she climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Remember, it's still here. I should take it down now. Oh, we get fine. But you, w but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's all right. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. You can turn it off. Okay. Yeah, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind would still be inside, and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. This, there's okay. The receiver, good. Globe. It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do with this incident. But it's got something important. I mean, it's here and it's present. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged them in various stacks on top. Hmm. It doesn't seem like anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember. The books that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep you from going to the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Stacked books have been added. Coin! I slap everything. All the book stacks. All of them will be slapped. Okay, let's check the moving ladder. The moving ladder I used to be over the books on top of the bookcase. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Near the body, we checked that out already. Let's start talking, people. I don't know who killed Montero, but it's Mom Nakuma's fault it happened. Why do you have the feeling that you're controlling this? That you're at fault? Seriously, I'm getting Mukuro vibes off you, lady. I'm serious, Mukuro vibes. Because he pressured us, this happened. And that motive he gave us is part of it. And it's always that strange music. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. And want to mambo. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I actually liked it. I can't believe I've been so pressured by that I killed Montero. It's all Monokoma's fault! Um, anyways, 
we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Promotion promotional video. Let's mambo! Get the dead! Don't talk to me, a crotch itch! I'm effing busy! Like I said, I don't know why, but my Mew voice is just coming off Ali Fuyahiko ish. Mew continues ignoring us while she fiddles with a controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Da, 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 it's a pro. Um, brown. Um, I don't mean to bite into the conversation, but don't you mean Tron? Actually, if it was a pro, it'd team up with the rest of the gangly and advise and destroy humanity. I have no idea what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, that controller is. <laughs> now you're getting a dick, cheese! She laughed and actually pointed her finger upwards. Ha! <coughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, did she create some perv cam? Is she trying to help propel pervertedness into the new frontiers? From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> Drafting a floor plan with photos. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation wants to. So, wait, sorry. Can I just see that? I can't do crap about that. So just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Oh, shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow letters. Oh, fights are really going to come out. And then <laughs> five seconds later. A body has been discovered! Kayati just slaps Miu right into the moving bookcase, breaks down that door. What did I do? Oh, Addis! Addis! Actually, you're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss! Taro, Taro! He would have just let that roll off his back like rain off a duck! Really, Taro, Taro! Anyone said that to him, he would have just been like, Oh, touche. Oh, touche. You want to you wanna have some more verbal play in my room? I certainly would let you use that now for more productive uses. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to you, Kurumi. What you got to say? Why did the culprit step forward and take advantage of the blood? Why didn't the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? A question which we'll be answering next episode. I'm sorry that I do this. It's just questions tend to be a good transition for me to end the video off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like to, you like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you later. Bye.